So, um, first I'm going to show you the, uh, all the different features, um, that comes with this rig. You can, uh, move his mouth, and, uh, in his mouth you can see a little tongue, uh, just, uh, his mouth, actually. And, um, his teeth. And, um, what's cool about this rig is you, he's got so many different facial features and everything. You can make him smile, frown, um, you know, you can open his mouth, obviously. You can move his eyes to, like, oops, to look around. Obviously, you can move his arms and his legs. Um, you can also move him around. Oops, not like that. Like that. Um, you can move his head around. Rotate it. And you can move his... not that. Uh, eyebrows around. By clicking these. You can make them kind of mad. You know. Just do all these things, you know. Move bit by bit to have different things. Now he looks sad, you know. Alright, so, um... What I'm going to show you is how to change the texture, I mean the uh, skin, to uh, whatever you want, and to clean up this, uh, this little blue and the blurs and everything. So first off, you're going to choose a skin. I'll just get a... I'll just get my skin, my uh, character skin for the animation. Um, you want to go into like a... Skin editor, I use MC Skin Edit. Um, I'll have a download in the description, uh, so you can get this if you want. Um, I think it only works for Windows. It may work for Mac, I'm not sure. I don't know because I don't have a Mac. What you do is you load a skin, or now I'm going to choose, uh, what's his name? Medieval Villager. Alright, and um, as you can see I have the weird colors up here, and also you're going to need white for his teeth. And uh, actually on the skin it looks really weird, you just see like this white little block under his face. But, um, actually, wait. wait. You don't need this part. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just right here. Um, right now on the skin it looks really weird. It's just a bunch of stuff on his face. But when you, uh, put it to the animation, it'll look, like, a lot better. But, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you don't want anything on his face. You basically just want clothes and, uh, hair. You don't want any eyes or mouth or anything, because uh, it the animation does that for you. It adds a nose, it adds a mouth, eyebrows, eyes. So yeah. Um, you uh, want to save that. Save. And uh, this is the 32 by 64 um, image. And uh, if you just got this and put it to this, it would be it would look just like this, just really blurry. And, uh, and a little messed up on uh, some parts. So, what you want to do is close this. You want to get this. You want to right click, open with, I use paint.net. Um, again, that may not work on Mac or uh, some other computers, but it works for Windows. Um, and it helps with a lot of images and stuff like that. Uh, here you got your image, go to tools, move selected pixels. You select this, click copy, then under quality you click pixeled. Actually, I'm going to show you what it does if you don't do it, if you just do smooth. You want to do, you've got it copied, you want to do new. Make sure this is checked, the maintain, maintain, ah, uh, sorry, maintain aspect ratio. You go over here, just add a zero, and if it's that, if that's checked, it'll add a zero to everything else. Click OK. You'll have a new thing. Click paste. You want to stretch this, oops. 
not move it. You want to stretch it over this entire thing and try to get it perfect, perfectly cornered. Oops. If it's a little bit off, then the skin will not look right. And as you can see, it's kind of blurry. That's because we had the quality to smooth. You want it to pixeled so it's straightened and uh, clean. So um, next you go to File, you go to Save As, and you name it whatever, um, char Character, and this will be 320 times 64, this will be a bigger one, PNG file, save, click OK, and then you go to your Blender, or your animation. Um, I haven't really figured out how to do the characters in skinning with uh, Illusion Madge, and I don't plan to because it's really uh, hard to work with. It's really confusing and weird. I prefer Blender, but um, for my friend Velocibadger, if you find a way to uh, animate them and uh, skin them and everything, uh, let me know. And you know, I mean, you're pretty smart, so you could probably figure it out. Uh, but I don't know personally, so. What you want to do is split this window, uh, change this to UV Image Editor, uh, click on the image, click on Steve, no face extras, and that pulls up the uh, skin. Um, but you don't want this skin. You want to click on Image, replace image, you go to wherever you saved your uh, bigger character skin. I saved it to... Skin edit, um, character, 3264. You go to replace, Oops. and as you can see, it's a very clear, and yeah, it's no mess ups or anything. It's perfect. Um, so yeah, that's how you do the skin editing. Um, I'm going to show you really quick how to just get the normal Steve, the default, and uh, move it over and uh, make it bigger, just uh, as a recap. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Um, I don't think I even have a default skin anywhere. I'm gonna have to go to dot .minecraft, the bin, open this up in WinRAR, Is it? Um, will be under mod maybe. Um, yeah, char. Here we go. Um, extract specific specific folder. Jeez, I can't talk. I'll do Blender animation. Yes, to all. All right. Then we'll open it. And why didn't it do it? You know what? I'm just going to extract two. Okay. Um. Here we go. We have a Minecraft folder, the mobs, and all of our stuff. We'll get the char file, the character, as you can see. Um. We'll copy that, go to this, paste, and uh, as you can see for the default, it has a face, and you don't really want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open MC Skin Edit, we're going to go to Load, Char, Open, and we're just going to get the basic color and just fill it in for his face. You can uh, make it look a lot better and everything, but I'm just gonna... Oops. I'm just gonna make it all one color. Save some time and uh, make it look good.
Yeah, that's good enough. Um, and then we want a um, a dark red in the corner, about half of this little square, about there. And then you want a lighter red for the tongue. And finally, you want a white for the teeth. Then you want it to cut off two blocks away. There. So it's right in the middle, and then two blocks away from this. So you go to File, Save, overwrites the Char 2. Go to Char 2. Open with paint.net. I feel like I've done this a hundred times. Copy. New. Paste. Resize. File. Save as. Char. Yes. OK. And Blender. So uh, instead of having him have black eyes, we're going to go to replace image, go to char, double click, and there we go. He looks somewhat normal. Uh, weird skin tone, but you know, you can fix that. Um, and yeah, that's basically how you do it. Obviously you see um, that it's not blur anymore. Um, ooh. He still has a little bit of a blue thing, but that's just because we didn't position it that well on here. We could have done a little better, I guess. But, um, yeah, play around with it and, uh, try to get it perfect. Let's try that. Actually, that looks a little worse. <laughs> but, um, play around with it, see what works best. But yeah, that's basically how to do the uh, skinning on this uh, specific Minecraft rig.